And now getting ready for the intros here of the Premier Heat. And Purple Track Club, the co-favorites, Rachel Forsyth, you can see here on the left. One of the top middle distance runners in the country, heading to Michigan State. Robinson Track Club. The Bird Sisters, Alexandra and Karina on that team. Raleigh Catholic, Maggie Whittem, Lucia West, Addie Mitchell, and the great Hannah Ray Schaefer. Hannah Ray Schaefer is the meet record holder here in the 5,000 meters. Short Track Club, Helen Sachs, Ava Paras, Emma Gunnett, Lila Dowling, Falcons Track Club, Vivian Ostfield, Ella Etzel, Madeline Braun, and Talia Mamaski. Clarksville Track Club, Lauren Vermani, Nikita Mohan, Alyssa Mattis, Morella Vermani, the Bobcats, Neely Roy, Mackenzie Cook, Madeline Cook, Ailey Cavanaugh. Matt's Tough Gator, Carrie O'Day, Alyssa, Alyssa Suriano, Madeline Mater, Megan Niglio, Pingree coming out, great private school from New Jersey, Olivia Murray, Kayla Kerr, Sari Berman, Lucy Ambrogio, Cal Harbor, Jane Tucker, M Mia Wickard, Finley Wickard, Ella Cancro, Falcons Track Club coming up next. And the Falcons Track Club, Eliza Dickey, Sophia Wanaseto, Fiona Littman, uh, Ipa Shoblin, West Springfield Track Club, Marie Campbell, Allison Hall, Madeline McCroskey, Addison Mao. And last but not least, the 14th team, the 14th entry, the Legacy Track Club, Anna McGaffin, Layla Boozry, Riley Lynch, Courtney Krawiecki. So here we go, this is the fast section, four by mile. First section, one in 21, 48. It'll be very exciting to see some, a couple of the top middle distance runners in the country here. Paige Shepard for Union Catholic, Rachel Forsyth for Purple Track Club, Hannah Ray Schaefer for Raleigh Catholic. Those are a couple of really, really dynamite anchor legs. This one's going to be really exciting. And Hannah Ray Schaefer opting out of running the 5K. As I mentioned, she is the meet record holder. The 5Ks are the next event on the track. Opting to be with her teammates here. She set the uh, meet record of 1637.73 last year in that 5K. And so we'll really be keeping our eye on Union Catholic and Purple. That anchor leg uh, will really be uh, spectacular, to say the least, when you got Rachel Forth going head-to-head -head with Paige Shepard. All right, here we go. Nice clean start. So we need 13 teams to get them to the championship. So we got more shadows descending across the track here. Going right to the lead. Clarksville Track Club going out rather aggressively. Clarksville Lauren Vermani. And really for Union Catholic and Purple, it's all about just keeping it as close as they can until the anchor legs come up. Rachel Forsyth for Purple. Union Catholics, Paige Shepard. And Purple moving into second. 
kind of like it when the teams name themselves after the colors that they're wearing. You know, Purple Track Club is indeed in purple and currently in second. So we're looking at times we'd love to see the meet record at 20.05.91. So we'd like to see as many legs as possible close to that five minute mark. Single file they go. We'll kind of get a guesstimate here at their 880 yard split. Should be somewhere in that 230 range. About 230 indeed, right at that 880 mark. Nice job by our director there to cut right to that line. So the other contenders, Raleigh Catholic with Maggie Whittem and Falcons Track Club with Vivian Ostfeld. They're the four that have pulled away. And Raleigh Catholic starting to move into that number two position. Purple now number one. You always wonder about an athlete running in lane two, especially in a race like this that's long. You wanna just not have to work any harder than you already have to. But Raleigh Catholic really uh, chomping at the bit here. And that's Maggie Whittem. And Falcons hanging in there as well in the white. There you can see across the track, those four teams, although Falcons is starting to fall back just a hair. So it's purple from Ann Arbor. Clarksville, Raleigh Catholic, and Falcons. And the question is, where is Union Catholic? They have some work to do. They have the horses to do the work. And also running wide a lot of the time here has been Clarksville. Not necessary to do so. And when they come into the home stretch, we're going to be ready for the pass off here. And these four have just been taking it from the get go, and a nice move made by the Falcons track club. Purple's going to hand off first. 504 for Sylvia Sanic Dufalo of Purple. 504 13. Falcons Vivian Osfeld. 504 67. Raleigh Catholic Maggie Whittem. 505. Clarksville Lauren Vermonti around 505 57. Down to Union Catholic. Currently in fifth, Kayla Devine, 509.50. So Union Catholic, four seconds back. Definitely not out of contention whatsoever. Not with the kind of anchor that they have. But the Ann Arbor group from Purple in front. Clarksville tucked into second. Raleigh Catholic from North Carolina in third. Or excuse me, uh... Falcons Track Club in third, and Raleigh Catholic now in fourth, and actually Falcons has now moved into second. Good leg being run by Ella Atzil. And Union Catholic is going to really have to start moving. Sophia Thompson running for Union Catholic. They're in the pink.
Also in the mix. The another club with the same name, Falcons Track Club. <laughs> this one with a small F as opposed to the big F team, which is in second. Pingree running well as well. As the uh, 743 Eastern time, starting to get a lot more shade here. One of the most famous stadiums in the entire world. First televised football game, 1939, was held here at Franklin Field. So it's Purple and Falcons, one and two. Raleigh Catholic and three. And Falcons with the big F have fallen back. Now a big group starting to present themselves. Purple has just been so consistent here, right at the front. Falcons right there in the white and purple. So you got purple in first, white and purple in second. Purple definitely seems to be the late motif in this race. And then you've got what looks to be at least five teams all battling there for third. Union Catholic starting to move up on the outside. The one in the pink spikes is the Union Catholic runner, which is Sophia Thompson. keeping our eye on them. Again, a lot of these athletes doubling back in other events, some individual, some relay. So these outfits, and of just the length of the season itself. And now we see some big movement here. And a stunning move. That was a big move. A little bit hard to tell with the light. Looking for the pass at about 10 minutes. And this is just a sensational leg. Hard to read the hip number as it's flying around there. but just a terrific leg. I think it's Mia Wickard of Cal Harbor that is running this brilliant leg with purple in second. And what an absolutely stunning leg by Mia Wickard of Cal Harbor. We'll go to the third runners now try to get a split on the Wickard. So Wickard ran 5.00.94. Lydia Bowman, 5.09.47 for purple. And Union Catholic, Sophia Thompson got them right back in the game at 5.06.12. And yet the fastest split run by Legacy's Layla Boosry, 4.59.59. So they were hoofing it. We're a little bit off meet record pace. Let's see what happens on these next two legs for Cal Harbor. The, if you think you're seeing double, well, it's true. It's Finley Wickard, Mia Wickard's sister running for them. Purple has Natalie Mello. Union Catholic running Kaylee Kaiser.
We've got some definite separation here with Cal Harbor and Purple Track Club. By the way, Car Cal Harbor's first leg, Jane Tucker ran a 5.12, and then Mia Wickard coming in with that five. Just, just to give you a perspective, the 5.12 put Cal Harbor in 10th place, so Mia Wickard went from 10th to 1st, and that's Union Catholic there, stalking in 3rd. Kaylee Kaiser running for Union Catholic, and again, they have Paige Shepard on the anchor leg. And Paige Shepard's one of the finest middle distance runners in the country. And if my... Uh, Paige Shepard ran 207.97 in this meet last year in the 800. She ran very well in cross country, but I don't see any track results for her so far in the 2024 outdoor season. Meanwhile, Cal Harbor, the, the Wickard sisters are just absolutely going nuts here. Finley Wickard running a terrific third leg. It's Finley Wickard of Cal Harbor. Just a brilliant performance by Cal Harbor. Cal Harbor in New York. And they are just doing a number on this entire field. Somewhat unexpected. But again, expectancy at this time of year in the postseason a lot of competitions under the belts of these athletes. There's a good move being made in fourth there. Meanwhile, Purple lurking. Remember, Rachel Forsythe is on the anchor for Purple. And when you're talking about Rachel Forsythe, you're talking about one of the finest middle distance runners in the country. She comes off a 203.87 for 800 just five days ago. Okay, 203.87. And that's smoking fast. She's run 438.28 for 1,600 this year. And that's who Purple, who's currently in second, has anchor legs. So no, but no lead is safe when you have the talent of a Rachel Forsythe on the anchor. And then the question is, of course, what kind of shape will Paige Shepard bring to the party here? Have not seen a result for her outdoors for 2024 or even indoors. But we know she's a superior talent. And now here comes Purple with a nice kick. Natalie Mello and Rachel Forsyth is gonna end up getting probably the lead. And when you've got Rachel Forsyth with this kind of lead, it's gonna be tough for anybody to catch her. 508.31 for Natalie Mello. Robinson Track Club with Karina Bird running a 504.61 in second. Now Paige Shepard takes the baton for Union Catholic. Keep in mind, Paige Shepard does not have any marks for the 2024 track season. She's primarily an 800 runner, but our leader, Rachel Forsyth, coming off a 203, 800. So <laughs> you have two of the best 800 runners in the country going at it in the mile. Remember, Rachel Forsyth won like 13 cross-country races this year, only lost once. It broke course records just about everywhere she went. The question is, does Paige Shepard, in what appears to be her first outdoor race this year, want to take a whack at this lead that, that Forsyth has? And this is going to be a, certainly an interesting situation. Rachel Forsyth looking so smooth and relaxed on her way to Michigan State University after just a stellar high school career. Shepard running very nicely there in second. Paige is 
just a ninth grader. So think about this. Paige is a ninth grader. She ran 207 last year as an eighth grader, okay? Um, you talk about a major talent. You know, you never want to say on the a thing mo level, but my God, when you run 207, that's, hey, listen, 207 for an eighth grader boy is a heck of a tonic. So Rachel Forsyth comfortably in the lead, Paige Shepard in second. Look at the turnover on Rachel Forsyth. Just brilliant, brilliant running mechanics. So well coached. Just a joy to watch. Shepard holding her own. Now she's got a little bit of company there. Obviously, Shepard not wanting to speculate, but maybe a little short on fitness. And Rachel Forsyth just looks like she's going out for a Sunday jog. Just... She's got a 100-meter lead, and Paige Shepard may lose second here fairly soon. Boy, that is just a very, very solid tempo that Rachel Forsyth is throwing out there today. So smooth, so relaxed. Purple's first three legs, 504, 509, 508. So the, uh, the announcer said the meet record was 2004, but actually the meet record is 2005-91, according to uh, my data here. Paige Shepard still hanging in there for Union Catholic in second. Rachel Forsyth and the Purple Track Club have about 300 meters separating themselves. Yeah, 2005-91, the meet record. Just a superb talent. The fact that she's a 203, 800 meter runner and can scale to winning major cross country races in three miles or 5,000 meters just shows you the level of the talent this young lady possesses. So we're coming into the home straight now. As mentioned, 2005-91 is the meet record. She's got a good shot at that. Very good shot at it. And she's going to get it. Rachel Forsythe leading purple. 441.93. Running solo. 441.93 on the anchor. Running by herself. Paige Shepard. Great finish for her. 453.31. That's the race's second fastest split. Twenty oh three eighty two for the Purple Track Club. Great battle coming up here for third. Anybody's race. And on the outside, wow, what a finish. Falcons Track Club, this small F Falcons Track Club, 2042-76. Raleigh Catholic with Hannah Ray Schaefer running the anchor leg in 458-74 finishes fourth. And Robinson Track Club. Finishes fifth. So some scintillating performance by Rachel Forsyth. 441 by herself. And Paige Shepard, 453 on her anchor leg. The second fastest split of the day for the ninth grader. Yes, ninth grader, whom I think that's the first race that she has run this track season. Wow.
I'm here with the Purple Track Club, where they just set the meet record and the sixth fastest time in history. Sylvia, tell me, the gun goes off. What's going through your mind? Um, I just wanted to get into like a good position to start. I didn't really know how the leg was going to go, but I just wanted to get my team like in the best position possible. Absolutely. Now you're in first when you get the baton. What kind of pressure does that put on you? Uh, I didn't really think about it. I was just really excited. <laughs> Now, you're in second when you get the baton. And now, you know that you have a very talented field racing with you. How do you get back to first? Um, just try to stick like as close as I can to the person in front of me and then just try to kick the last lap. Now, coming into the final leg, you have a four-second lead. What's the strategy when you have a four-second lead over such a talented field? How do you decide whether or not to go for it or kind of sit and save it for the kick? Yeah, I wasn't really expecting, I was pleasantly surprised that my team got us in first. Um, so keeping my spot was definitely the goal. And then on the last lap, I heard what I had to run to like get the record for our team. Uh, so then I tried to do that. Congratulations.